Many waders, or shorebirds as they're also known, are great migrants, and this double DVD set features the key waders of Europe, Asia and North America. 104 species in total. Here's the account for the red knot. The red knot breeds in Alaska, northern Canada, Greenland and central and eastern Siberia. Breeding birds have beautiful chestnut red underparts. The upper parts are mottled with a mixture of black, rufous and buff. The plumage of these birds is quite fresh and the upper parts feathers still have their pale fringes so the upper parts look relatively pale. In contrast, this bird was filmed much later in the year late September to be more precise, and it's heavily worn and looks much darker above, indeed almost blackish. The legs are a bit on the short side, and although they are greyish or greenish, they often simply look dark. This bird has largely molted into non-breeding plumage, but there's still a bit of red on the underparts and a few dark breeding feathers are left on the upper parts. The blackish bill is rather short and tapers evenly from a stout base. Juveniles look a rather uniform pale grey from a distance, but the upper parts feathers have delicate dark subterminal marks and pale fringes which give them a neat scaly appearance. There is a variable buffy wash on the breast. It's not very obvious on this bird, but it's more prominent on the bird seen in the foreground in a few seconds. Non-breeding birds are grey above and whitish below. The relatively large size for a colliderous sandpiper and the chunky shape are often important in identifying them. The grey chevrons on the flanks show well from this angle. The grey-green leg colour also shows well here. The rufous underparts show that these birds are still mainly in breeding plumage. Their dumpy shape means they can look a bit like a plover. In slow motion it's easier to see that they lack any striking flight markings. That there is a narrow white wing bar and the white rump is partially obscured by darker markings. They are very gregarious birds and in Britain a large part of the population is gathered at a few favoured sites. 